Hi there, welcome to Kerry Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here again for a shave in my bathroom. Um, and I need it. Right, yeah. Before I start, I'd like to give a, a little shout out, a little mention to Andrew and Katie Ferguson. Uh, uh, Andrew wanted to buy a soap and a splash from me, so he was through in Dundee or in this area where I'm from uh, with his wife, Katie, uh, and Katie is celebrating a special birthday as is their young son. Um, I didn't get his name because he was too cold. Um, <laughs> when I met up with them, it was really windy and cold and it was kind of down beside the water and it was really, really cold. And uh, uh, Andrew's uh, and Katie's little kid was, oh, he was like, oh, it's so cold. But um, yeah, they're through here to celebrate Katie's uh, birthday. I'll not mention how old she is, but she looks great. Uh, that's what I'm going to say, for her age. <laughs> right, that's enough uh, of that. So uh, yeah, very nice to meet you, uh, meet you both, uh, Andrew, and I hope you enjoy the stuff um, that I gave you. I gave him some extra stuff and that, but that's okay. Right, okay, on to the shave. Today, what are we using? Um, I'm going to be using an old, an old cream. It's been reformulated now, but for me, this one is still probably better than the, the reformulated one. It's the Body Shop Maca Root. Yeah, here's here. Um, I've had this tub for a long, long time. It still looks good, still like a cream. It has a unique scent. Some say it's a little bit citrusy. It's, um, yeah, I don't know what the scent is. Well, it's the mac maca root, whatever that smells like. I always think it sounds um, kind of West Indian, Jamaican. Me maca root, me maca root shave cream now, nah, you know. But, um, yeah, it's, um, it's a nice scent. It's a great performing cream, really good. If you can get the, if you can get a hold of this older formula, um, get it. So that's the cream I'm going to be using. Are you going to be bowl lathering that, Kibby? No, no. What? But you've got the bowl sitting here. No, that's just a prop. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just going to apply it to my face. There's different ways to do it, right? Um, yeah, so that's the way I'm going to do it. How are you, people? Do you apply the cream to your face? Do you bowl lather it or do you dip the brush in it? I don't know. Speaking of brushes, there's a new one here. A new one from Yaki, and this is very, very nice looking. Um, some of you guys will absolutely love this. Those of you that play cards, this is the Yaki Casino Clubs. 26 millimeter synthetic tuxedo style knot. Uh, there it is on the bottom. Yeah, 26 millimeter and it has all the uh, card, what are they called, faces, cards, logos, hearts, spades, diamonds, clubs, yeah, very nice, nice brush, um, a little bit quirky for some, so obviously I don't like that, but I think it looks great, it has a kind of 50s stylings, which I like, I really like that sort of thing, but nice brush, as ever, Yaki's um, brushes are great, so this is a 26 millimeter. That's the brush, the Yaki Casino Clubs. Uh, the razor I'm going to be using, um, I had this on loan, uh, Mark Hutchinson at Friendship, or Hutchison at Friendship Shaving. He had a, he borrowed it for a while and I got it back and I've not used it since, so I'm going to use it today. This is the Mula Rocca. Um, you can see that on the, the collar there, it says Mula, Mula on both sides. If that's gonna, yeah, you can see that there. This is a birch handle. Uh, it's a three-piece razor. Comes apart. There's the head there. This is the version four head that had a lot of trouble with this, not uh, with alignment issues and stuff. So they they make them now with this style base plate and it works just fine. But it's a nice razor. Uh, the blade I'm gonna be putting in that is a brand new Supermax stainless. I used one of these for a, a long time and made in India. Here is here. Yeah, brand new. It is double wrapped. That's a nice looking blade. That's a nice looking blade. It's very shiny. Yeah, there's here. Supermax stainless, can you see? Um, <laughs> right, so we'll put that on the top cap of the razor. Then we put this bit on, which is called the base cap. 
Then I like to put a little washer on there just to protect when the head gets screwed there, uh, when the head and the handle get screwed together, it just protects the the underside from getting marked. There is a tiny bit of blade exposure at the ends here. Kind of overhang as people call it. You'll probably be able to see that. Just a tiny bit, not much. But um yeah, the blade's all nicely aligned. Good. Right. So I'm not bowl lathering, I'm just going to apply this to my face. No pre-shave, nothing like that, just cracking on with the shave. Cracking on. Right, let me wet my noggin coupon mush. Noggin coupon mush. Three words for the face. <laughs> Are they British, Scottish words? I know coupon is, or coupon as you guys would say in the States. I'll smash your coupon in. Don't be threatening towards me. <laughs> right, so how much cream do we need? I'll be there in a minute. Just that much, I think. I think that's gonna be way too much, but that's fine. So we'll just apply this like this. You don't put any in the moustache, Kevy, that's okay. There you go. Yeah, that's probably a, a heap of cream. So what I'll do is wet the brush, give it three flicks. I'll just gather that, but it's on my fingers. Yeah, I can feel the, whoa, it's slick, baby. Right, then I'll just start painting this in. Well, that really is slick. Just uh, wipe my hands here. Yeah, it's a it's a cream that you never see getting used much, and I just spotted it and thought, right, you're getting used today. Hmm. <laughs> I'm laughing because I think I think I've applied too much. Can you see the thickness of that? Right. Let's start uh, loading the brush with water. Yeah, so there's lots of different ways you can create a lather. Some I've seen some barbers do it on the uh, on the, the sink. You know, when they sort of uh, in the sink, they just uh, put the the plug hole in so it doesn't all run down the sink, and they create the lather on the on the the basin of the sink. I couldn't think what it was called there. Basin, that's what it's called. Right, more water. Right, I've dipped the whole knot in there. You see that? There. <laughs> Someone asked me a question recently, said, why do you use so much soap? Why don't you just use the uh, the soap? Why don't you just use the amount of soap that you need? I don't know. Well, soap's the kind of protection between your skin and a sharp blade, so... You know, it's... Uh, I like to... And it's pretty cheap, all things considered. Soaps, soap and cream is one of the... Uh, cheapest parts of a shave. Look at this, look at this lather. It needs even more water. Yeah, so the answer is, why do you use so much cream? Because I like to lather for 15 minutes before I can shave. Look at this lather. Yeah, that probably was a bit much, but look at the brush. Absolutely jam-packed. Great brush as well, 26 millimeter, so not, so it will whip it up. No problem.
I think that's hydrated enough, I think. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, for a, a, a cream that's mass produced. Actually, I've not checked the body shop uh, recently to see if they still sell this. I'm presuming they do, but I could be wrong. They maybe uh, stop making it. Don't know. I'll have to look. Yeah, for a mass produced uh, cream, it's fantastic, especially this older version. We don't have to change things and mess about with formulations and stuff. Just leave it. It works the way it is. Look at that. You're not going to argue with that. Right, put some. Just put the lid on that. Macaroot. Put some heat in this blade. The only thing with this um, razor, there's no ladder channels underneath, but it doesn't affect it in any way. Yeah, you can feel the blade on this a little bit, but it's smooth, works great. I think the blade gap on this is about 0 0.8 uh, of a millimetre, so a fair bit of blade gap, and I think there's positive blade exposure too. That just means that the, uh, the blade kind of sits beyond the uh, base plate or something. <laughs> Yeah, you can certainly feel it uh, doing its thing. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful razor, and this this handle isn't slippy at all. It's made from birch, and uh, someone said, "Well, that not rot over time and that." But actually, uh, I think I've said this in a previous video. So that's what. Um, canoes and kayaks are made from is uh, birch, so it's pretty waterproof. Someone um, suggested in the comments about this little trouble spot that they have that too. Uh, they have that little trouble spot in their neck, so they suggested taking little shorter strokes. So that's what I'm doing today. Yeah, slickness on that's great. And mark a road. Yeah, there's a little bit of bite to this razor, but it feels nice. Just a light touch and it, you should be okay. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> right, first pass done. Let me have a... Yeah, that feels great. Right, let me rinse and come back for it. Pass number... Duh. Okay, that's that rinsed off. Yeah, it's... Um, what time is it here? It's 4 p.m and already it's getting dark. Uh, at the weekend pass, the clocks went back one hour, which means an extra hour in bed, but it means still getting dark at seven o'clock at night. It gets dark at six. But here, up in Scotland, it gets dark earlier. The more north you go, the earlier it gets dark. Is that right? Yeah, I think it is. So here, it's around about five o'clock, it's pitch black. And it'll get earlier as um, the longest day comes. So towards December, I think it's about the 20, 2nd or 23rd of December. Is it the longest day or the shortest day? Shortest day. Longest day. <laughs> it's one or the other. Yeah, take a punt on the uh, on the brush. Yeah, 
Yeah, so there's any... Um, poker players, this brush would be good for you. Nice to hold. Yeah, the usual yaki quality. Uh, I wonder how... Uh, it must be difficult to come up with new designs for brushes and stuff. Because there's so much out there, isn't there? All the better for us, wet shavers. More choice is a good thing. Super. Right, back to the uh, Mula Rocca. Across the growth. Yeah, it feels nice. You can feel the blade now because the uh, all the stubble's gone. We can hear that doing its thing. Doing its thing. I would say um, this razor's uh, about in between a kind of R89 and uh, <clears throat> an R41. More towards the R41. But not, like if an R41's nine out of 10 for aggression, this is maybe about a seven, I would say. Yeah, about a seven, and let's say an R89 is about 4.5, no, 4.62. <laughs> Little weird things like that I like. Like if I give a, if I give a movie a score, I'd only give it out of 10 or out of 100. I like to give it out of uh, like 240 or something, like I'll give the movie 210 out of 240. <laughs> That's something that I like to do. <laughs> right. Wow, yeah, there's one little weeper there. That few, <laughs> there's not much left there. <laughs> Hardly anything. But there is a go like that. Right, I'll rinse and come back for the third pass. Okay, back for pass number three. Yeah, that is uh, slick. That's uh, slicker than a whale's boxer shorts. What? Slicker than a whale's boxer shorts. Right, back to this. I'll just dip the brush a little bit. <laughs> Slicker than a whale's boxer shorts. Wow. Incredible, Kevin. Incredible. Yeah, the only thing with this uh, cream, it does leave a bit of um, kind of residue, kind of like scummy sort of stuff on the water. But as I said, for a mass produced um, kind of s s um, cream that you can buy readily available in most, most um, big cities and stuff, there's a body shop, lots of places. Unless they've all shut down after the uh, the pandemic. Yeah, it's a really good cream. It's slicker than a whale's boxer shorts. You can have that one. Right, third pass against the green. With the rocker.
It looks nice. And that um, Supermax blade is doing well. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah, remember how I said when I went like that, this, and then I went like that, and it was like, <coughs> listen to this. Hear that. That is slick. Right, three passes. Complete. We have one little weeper there, look. Cold water, saw that, I think. Right, let's have a little rinse. Let's have a let's have a quick feel. Let's have a quick feel. <laughs> wow. That feels amazing. Yeah, one little spot there. the usual spot. Smooth. Right, cold water rinse. Oh, cold. Right, let's uh, take what's left in this brush. Look at that. Beautiful. And uh, let's have a little face wash. You know that's the uh, routine. So we'll come back once this is uh, rinsed off. We'll come back for the post shave. All the gear will be cleaned out. See you soon. Hell yeah! <laughs> that feels good. That feels good. Right, onto the post shave. Starting with this. Um, Witch Hazel, which you can get in the shop in the UK called Home Bargains. It's about £1.79 to £2, something like that. Very cheap. And it works great. Just as good as the Thayer stuff, but <laughs> a lot less money. It doesn't have the best of scents, but it literally disappears within seconds. That's it. No aftershave today. I'm going to use um, something that I concocted myself. It's not Parasol White. No, you might think it is, but it's uh, this. This is about, I had about um, four or five tubes of um, aftershave balm uh, under the sink here. One of them was, I can't remember, it was out of... Uh, Super drug, I think it was. There was a a, a Gillette 
moisturizing balm. They all had tiny little bits left, so what I did, I cut the tubes open, um, kind of scooped out all the stuff that was in there and just put it in here. So this is just a mixture of stuff. Um, it's pretty good. Yeah, so that's that. It has the scent of nothing really. Yeah, there was a rock face shaving butter as well, which is a great post shave thing, but they all had tiny little amounts and I just got fed up kind of trying to roll the tube up and squeeze little bits out. So I just thought I'll, I'll cut them open, little plastic tubes. I'll cut them open, kind of scoop them out and just put them in that jar. It works great. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it works really well. It's um, just a combination of everything, but it's a balm, moisturizer. I just kind of use it every day, just in the morning when I'm getting up. Have a wash, clean my teeth, and then I'll put some witch hazel on and just a tiny little bit of that. Because as your stubble comes through, it kind of clings to it, so just a tiny amount, but it's really good. Yeah, it's uh, as I say, the Gillette moisturizer and the Rock Face shaving butter. I think there might actually be a little bit of um, Parasol White left in the bottom of that, just a tiny amount, but you just I just mixed it up with my finger. Here we go. And a quick wash. Yeah, so you should do that if you have like, if you've came to the bottom of uh, tubes and stuff like that. I know some people will say, ah, why don't you just buy a new tube, Kevin? Well, you could, but why waste it? You know. Yeah, there's the kind of consistency of it. Pretty good stuff. I like it. I like it, and that's all that matters. Right. Let me show you what we've used in this great shave. Pardon me. I need my dinner. Um, right, there's the result. Good shave, good shave, very good. Right, the um, razor for today was the Mula Rocca with the birch handle. Um, yeah, as I say, is it aggressive? I would probably say it's getting towards R41 territory, but not, nothing, nah. Heading towards that, but nowhere near it. Um, as I say, that, that if the R41 was a, about a 9 out of 10, this would be about a 206 out of 240. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that, but it's a, a good razor. But if you use light touch, very good, very efficient, very efficient razor. There's a, a little bit of blade feel, maybe not one for beginners or maybe not for a, a daily shave, but an excellent, well-made, beautiful looking razor. Inside that was a brand new first use Supermax stainless blade. Very good. Worked well in that razor. The soap for today was, or the cream rather, was Body Shop Macaroot. If you can get this old formula, get it. And just keep it in the den and use it. It's fantastic. Really good. Uh, the star of the shave and the best looking thing in the shave was the Yaki 26mm Casino Clubs brush with the synthetic tuxedo style knot. Yeah, <laughs> looks great. Very, very smart looking. Uh, as I say, if you're into your card games and poker and stuff like that, you'll love this brush. But I'll put links for everything in the description and you can take a look. So we did three passes, pickups, face wash, post shave was uh, witch hazel and my homemade leftover balms and moisturizers in this Parasso white jar. Very good. <laughs> yeah, it feels great. It feels really good. Right, that's all for me for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for your continued support. Um, listening to my ramblings and waffling and nonsense. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Really, really do appreciate it. And I try and get back to all the comments and read them and stuff like that. Um, it's getting really dark here now. So I'm going to go before the... Uh, uh, the locals turn into werewolves, which some of them probably might, but I don't know if it's a full moon or not. Oh! <laughs> right, <laughs> right, enjoy your shaves, uh, have fun, look after loved ones, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next shave. I've just noticed there's a little bit of something on the lens. I don't know if it's just a mark or if it's just a little bit of dust, but I hope it's not ruined the uh, shave, but we will find out when I put it in the computer and start editing. Right, see you in the next shave. Till then, take care.